What does the National Museum of Wildlife Art mean to me? It means everything. It is a tremendous museum for us that love nature and love wildlife and for a theater for us to show our work at. I had done a piece uh, about 10 years ago called the Buffalo Trail, which was a small maquette, and it was 64 inches in length. And uh, it is in the permanent collection of the National Museum of Wildlife Art. And while it was there, somebody saw it and would like to have me commissioned to place it in front of the museum in a heroic scale, which is one and one half life size. And um, because of that, that is a tremendous opportunity to be involved in such a large scale with such a huge museum, a museum that has offered so much for so many and offers a stage for young artists learning today because of their collections and all the great artists, the historical great artists that they have. The molding process, as an example, to do this double cowl piece behind me was 120 panels divided by two because they have to split the panels. There's 240 panels or pieces of the puzzle that have to be put back together. And I think that's interesting for people to realize that this is a very monumental task on behalf of the foundry. The significance of uh, me being able to place a heroic sized sculpture called the Buffalo Trail in front of the National Museum of Wildlife Art is uh, really a dream come true. Thank you um, so much to the RS and GBK Foundation for funding this amazing uh, five year long project. This is the realization of a, a big dream and a huge anchor point for the Sculpture Trail. Five years have come and gone since we started this project. Five great years with a lot of challenges, highs and lows, a little bit of blood, a lot of sweat, but a ton of joy. What's important to me is that you understand this, that I was only one little cog in this great machine that put this thing together. I might have been the creator of the maquette, but it took hundreds of people to see what you have here today.